Right now, 4 at 11 o'clock, presidential hopeful Beto O'Rourke made a stop in Connecticut tonight, not to campaign, but to talk about gun violence with a community that knows it well. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne and joins us now live to explain why O'Rourke believes Connecticut can offer important solutions to the rest of the country. Roger. Well, Aaron and Marcus, you guys mentioned O'Rourke says the key is that tonight really was not your typical campaign event. He claims this was an opportunity for him to learn from survivors in Newtown. I really believe this is going to be a defining moment of truth for us as Americans. Democratic presidential hopeful Beto O'Rourke is struggling in the polls, but tonight in Newtown, it's clear he's connecting with some voters impacted by gun violence. She was very, very special to me, and I just looked up to her all the time. Heidi Alvarez told O'Rourke about her former teacher and friend, Vicky Soto, a teacher who was murdered in the Sandy Hook shooting while trying to protect her students, including Heidi's sister. She cared so much about me, and I just miss her so much. Now Alvarez is supporting O'Rourke because of his gun control policies, which include a mandatory buyback of AR-15s. Just having someone like him be the voice for the people that can't speak anymore and be the voice for people who've lost the loved ones, it just really means the world to me. O'Rourke says he came to Newtown to hear from people like Alvarez and others who bear the scars of gun violence. I've come here tonight not to pitch myself, not to lay out a platform, not to campaign, but just to listen to the people of Newtown. Gun violence survivors, including Mike Song of Guilford, whose 15-year-old son Ethan died in an accidental shooting last year, attended the roundtable. It was a largely supportive crowd, although one protester did speak out. Come on, bring it on, Beto. Let me hear. What do you have to say about mental health? What do you have to say about urban Man. violence? You don't care. But O'Rourke felt the discussion was productive. He says the pain Alvarez and others have gone through has given them powerful perspective and an important voice. I know that the people of this community understand this better than perhaps almost any other community in this country. And not just the, the devastation and the grief and the loss, but what those solutions are. And tonight, O'Rourke told the Song family that he would support a federal version of Ethan's law, which is the law that requires that adults be responsible for any firearms they have and their safe storage when children are in their home. Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.